could an algorithm play a role in deciding the fate of a vulnerable child? Well, that is exactly what's happening in Allegheny County in Pennsylvania. Social workers there use an algorithm to help decide which family should be investigated, which can ultimately lead to a child being taken away from its home. Here's how it works. If someone's worried, they call a hotline. That's when the algorithm kicks in. It screens calls and makes recommendations about which family should be investigated further. The idea is that an algorithm can look at all of the data on things like jail history, medical history, and drug abuse much faster than a human can, making it less likely that a child is missed. But an investigation done by the Associated Press news agency has found some worrying things. They highlighted fears of racial bias in the algorithm. A couple of different studies showed that black children were being disproportionately recommended for investigation compared to white children. Their research also found that social workers disagreed with the recommendations of the algorithm a third of the time, and that's making people wonder how reliable the algorithm is. Now, social workers can ultimately decide what happens to children. They don't have to follow what the algorithm says. And Allegheny County told the Associated Press that the algorithm is never used alone. Humans are always ultimately responsible. But it does raise really interesting questions about how algorithms are used, how they'll be used in the future, and also how they can include the biases of the humans making them. You can read much more about all of this in AP's article. The link is in the caption.